today we are going to teach you one of the particular topic of English grammar and the students of 5 onwards especially for the students of 7, 8, 9 and 10 will be profitable by this video I hope all of you will watch the video and you will try to learn something which I am going to teach you okay the subject of today's discussion it will be the changing of voice changing of voice and that particular topic it is very much important for all the students not only during the uh, course time but also the changing of voice it is required to many of the competitive exam also which are conducted all over the countries okay so i hope you will learn so in voice you will get two types of voice one and passive okay sometimes you will get some sentences which are included in active voice and in that time you have to change that particular voice to passive and when you will get any sentence of passive voice that sentence you have to convert it to active it is the process while we are going to change the voice so now it is very much important to know how one active voice can be converted to passive and how one passive voice can be converted to active. So there are some specific rules, some procedures are there. All the procedures we will discuss one after another. But before going to the changing procedures of voice, at first you should know any sentence whether it is included in active or in passive so at first you should know that particular things we are taking one example i am writing a story so this sentence is given i am writing a story now you have you are told to change the voice to change the voice at first you should know in which category this sentence is included whether it is an active voice or it is a passive voice only then you can convert it if you will know this sentence is in active voice then you have to convert it to passive and if this sentence is in passive form then you have to convert it to active okay so at first you should know whether it is active or passive so for the things what you should know you should check whether this sentence is included in passive form whether this sentence is included in passive form or not if it is included in passive form then it is a sentence of passive voice and if it is not included in passive form then definitely it is going to be a sentence of active voice so for that things you should know the basic structure of a sentence of passive form so what is the sentence what is the structure in a sentence of passive form there will be a definite structure v bar plus v3 okay if in a sentence both these two conditions are uh, there both these two conditions should be available together only then this sentence is going to be a sentence of passive form v bar plus third form of the verb this third form of the verb you can say it as past participle past participle form so what is past participle participle form at your grammar book you uh, got a verb list where it is written like this do did done go when done so this type of one verb list you got at your grammar book okay so it is the first form of verb which is known as the present form it is the past form which is known as the v2 means second form of verb 
and it is past participle. It is past participle, which is known as these three. That means the third form of verb. So, in a sentence of passive voice, you need this third form of verb. Along with this third form of verb, at that particular sentence, definitely there should be a be verb. Only then, the sentence is going to be a sentence of passive form. If one of the condition is fulfilled by one sentence. For example, in one sentence only B verb is available, but verb third form it is not there, then it is not a sentence of passive voice. If third form of verb is available, but B verb is not there, then also it is not going to be a sentence of passive voice. In one sentence, both these two conditions should be available together. B verb plus third form of the verb. So, you can understand about the third form of verb. Now, what is B verb? There will be A B verb. What are the A B verb? These are the three A B verbs. M is, R, was, were, be, been, been. Okay? So, among this eight B verb, any of the B verb, it should be present in one sentence. Along with this B verb, the third form of the verb should be available in that in the same sentence. Only then it is going to be a sentence of passive form. So, in this particular sentence, what we got, I am writing a story. So at first you should know in which category it is included, whether it is a sentence of active form or passive form. So whatever structure I have given, based on that structure, now you have to find it. Okay? At to be a passive form, there should be a B verb. M is B verb there. So in this particular sentence, B verb is available. After the B verb, in the same sentence, the third form of the verb, it should be there. Right is the main verb. And what is the third form of right? Right, wrote, written. <clears throat> written is the third form of right. So here, the third form of verb is available. Right is there. It is not the third form of verb. It is the first form of verb. So, in this sentence, the first condition to be passive, it is fulfilled. B verb is there. But the second condition, the third form of the verb, it is not available there. So, it is going to be a sentence of active form. It is not a passive. It is active. So, when it is active, then you have to convert it to passive. So, how a sentence of active voice can be converted to passive? So that things we will discuss now. So the same example we will take here now. What are the terms we took earlier? I am writing a story. It is the sentence, earlier we got, it is a sentence of active voice. Now we have to convert it to passive. Okay? So what will be the passive form here? So, while we are going to convert one sentence of active voice to passive, during that time we have to follow some rules. The first rule of this conversion, the object of a passive voice will be oh, sorry the object of a active voice will be the subject of a passive voice okay so what is subject so in this sentence at first we have to find out who, which are the parts of the speech i is the subject m is the auxiliary here right is the verb a story is the object Okay, these are the parts of speech in this sentence. So, while we are going to convert it to passive, 
during that time what what the first procedure we have to follow the object of an active voice will be the subject of the passive voice so a story which is the object here we have to convert this object to the subject of the passive voice so a story a story is going to be the subject next according to the tense of the sentence we have to use the be verb so what is the tense there i am writing a story in which tense it is included it is in present continuous why it is in present continuous because in the present continuous form there is a specific uh, sentence structure what is it subject plus m is r plus verb first form plus ing if any sentence you will get in this structure subject thereafter m is r any one of these three plus first form of the verb plus ing so then it is going to be a sentence of present continuous tense so here it is the subject from m is r we are getting m here first form of the verb right along with the right ing is added so it is going to be a sentence of present continuous tense so in that case what we have to do with the same same auxiliary we have to use but along with a story we cannot use m so with a story what auxiliary we have to use we have to use is a story is another one important thing you should uh, remember every time while you are going to change the voice during that time the tense of the sentence it is not going to be going to be changed that means if the active voice it is in present continuous sentence passive also it should be in present continuous tense okay a story is along with is 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 auxiliary here it is not be verb so here we have to use one be verb so what be verb we can use am is or was will be being been from that age we have to use being okay a story is being after the be verb what we need the third form of the verb what is the first form right so what will be the third form of the verb right wrote written a story is being written a story is being written we convert the first form of the verb to the third form of the verb written thereafter we need one preposition by okay a story is being written by now the subject of the active voice will be the object of passive voice subject of the active voice will be the object of passive voice but here i was the subject but in object it cannot be i it will be me okay a story is being written by me so it is the passive form of the sentence which we got earlier i am writing a story it is a sentence of active voice when we will convert it to passive form during that time we will get a story is being written by me okay we will take another one example he can do the work it is the sentence so at first what you have to do you have to find out in which category this sentence is included it is active or passive so here we uh, to be passive we need one be verb be verb am is are was will be being been from that age anyone is not available here that means be verb is not there so the first condition to be passive is rejected here so definitely this sentence is going to be the sentence of active voice 
So now we have to convert it to passive. So while we are going to convert it to passive, what is the first rule? The object of an active voice will be the subject of the passive voice. The word at the previous sentence it was an object. Now it is going to be the subject. The word. Thereafter we need be verb. Whatever auxiliary it is used at the previous sentence, that auxiliary you have to use. The word auxiliary was the uh, can was the auxiliary. So here you have to use that auxiliary. Along with this auxiliary, you have to use on be verb. What be verb you can use? It is a sentence of present indefinite tense. When it is a present indefinite tense or indefinite form, then you have to use the be verb as be. Okay? The word can be. Okay? What is the main verb? Do is the main verb here. In passive form, we need the third form of the verb. What is the third form of do? Do, did, done. So, done is the third form. Can be done. Next, we need one preposition, which will be by. Next, the subject of the active voice will be the object of passive voice. He, it was the subject here. Now, it will be converted to object. And during that time, it will be converted to him. He will be converted to him. The work can be done by him. Okay? It is the system how we can change the voice and this system it is uh, it can be used in assertive sentence. Okay? Another one example we will take. Invited by him. Okay? Now, what you have to find out whether it is an active or passive. So, to be passive, we need one be verb. N is our was going be being been. Was is available here. After be verb, invite is the main verb. And the third form of invite is invited. That means it is be verb plus third form of the verb. So, both these two conditions are available in this sentence. So, definitely it is going to be a sentence of passive voice. Now, this passive voice we have to find it active. So, why we are going to change this to active? The rules it will be the reverse. Object of the passive voice will be the subject of active voice. Him, he. Okay? Now, what is it? Was. Was is the be verb here. You cannot use it was here. Okay? Because you are going to convert it to active. So, be verb should not be there. But, there is one problem. In which sentence it is included? It is in present, uh, sorry, past indefinite tense. So, in past indefinite tense, what is the sentence pattern? Subject plus V2. Means, the second form of verb. Okay? He, what is the main verb? Invite. Invite is the main verb. Second form, invited. And the third form also, invited. Okay? Invite, invited, invited. So, we have to use second form here. He invited. Invited. What was the object, subject? It was I. Here, it is going to be the object. He invited, I will be converted to me. He invited me. It is the active form and the passive form of he invited me, it will be I was invited by him. Okay? So likewise, you have to uh, change the voice. If any sentence it is in active voice, then you have to convert it to passive. And if it is in passive form, then you have to convert it to active. So, here our discussion of changing of voice, specially related to assertive sentence, it is completed. Next, we have to go to the interrogative sentence, next, imperative sentence, optative sentence, and exclamatory sentence. In a very short duration of time, covering of all these things, it is not possible. So, one after another, we will try to understand. 
so today we talk regarding assertive sentence next we will talk about the interrogative sentence okay so whether we have understood all the things of uh, things or not to find out that particular answer i have to give you some homeworks and definitely you have to do it also okay so try to solve the problems some questions some questions i will give so what you have to do you have to find out whether it is an active or passive if it is an active you have to convert it to passive if it is a passive then you have to convert it to active okay So these four questions I am giving you. He can do the sum. My father was writing a poem. The teacher is teaching us English. I have done the work. These four questions I am giving you. You have to convert it to the another category. Okay. So for to make it easier, I am giving you one clue. All these sentences which I have given right now. All these sentences are, <coughs> are in active form. So you have to convert it to passive. Okay? So try to solve all these questions and you will give me the feedback. Only then I will get to know whether you have understood the teaching or not. Okay? Stay home, stay safe. Thank you.